G'day, how you going? So, how much did I earn in Space Mesh? Well, I earned about 172.21 Space Meshes in the last, I don't know, probably about six, seven months. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Huh? I'm a millionaire. Yes, I'm a millionaire, Jerry. So, what happened is I used a one terabyte Optiplex mini PC with an i7 PC. Optiplex, it's a small little PC that I just put in the corner and just left on. Now the problem here is you can see, if you go to the network, uh, smashing, wallet, here, view all transactions, you'll see when I first started, alright, space mesh, space mesh, I earned really good about 11 space meshes here, 11 space meshes here. These are all different epochs. So initially when it first started it was really good um, in the early months where you had uh, 11 space meshes here, 11, these are all different epochs, 11, 11, 12, that was a good, that was a good epoch. <laughs> 11, uh, 10, 11, 15, oh yeah, that was an awesome in October last year. Then 12, 12, 17, that was a bumper crop that year, uh, that, that month, that epoch. Hey Jerry, the epoch. So, then you can see here January 9, I only got 4.9 epochs, then it went down to 2 epochs, one epoch, one, 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 and then up until now, March, one epoch. So it's it's come like, it's evened itself out, I guess. I don't know, you're only getting about one epoch. This is, remember, this is only one terabyte. So now what's happening is a lot of those epochs, the stupid PC that I had, the little Optiplex, it might have um, rebooted or whatever, and I never noticed. So that's the problem. You've got to keep track of it. You've got to keep an eye on it. Uh, maybe set up some alerts, which I, did. I don't know how to do it. I tried to look it up, set up an alert or an email or something when it crashes. Or And the other thing is, Jerry, the bloody um, updates. You see down here, the little update. Now we're on version 1.4.4. It just keeps on updating. Like practically every second day, it needed an update, an update, an update. <laughs> and I wasn't logged on to check it. Because remember, I wanted some passive little machine sitting in the corner. And I never, that's my fault. I never really checked in with it. So who knows? Maybe that stopped it from earning some epochs. Because I didn't earn every epoch, if you know, you know what I mean. Some epochs I might have missed out just because that one hour when it was processing that it needed to process the whole blockchain your blockchain your one terabyte blockchain you know my one terabyte blockchain it needed that one hour after the epoch finished to churn through it with the cpu um, it probably wasn't online my computer was rebooted or whatever or it wasn't out of date or some shit. i don't know but anyway 1.72 epochs so let's translate that into cash so it's three three dollars 49 holy underwear batman really shit i didn't know that oh i am a millionaire jerry, jerry i'm a millionaire so what do we got three dollars 49 and i've got 172 space meshes so let's get the old calculator out uh, 172 equals 600 bucks holy underwear <laughs> really man I should have done more terabytes Jerry why don't I do more terabytes I should have done a shitload of those machines <laughs> anyway 600 bucks eh I could buy another hard drive if you go to one of the transactions or wherever, there's a little icon here, this one here, and it takes you to your uh, wallet on the actual Space Mesh Explorer. So it's called 
explorer.spacemesh.io and then you can chuck in your address, your wallet address and it'll tell you all your transactions and how many layers and all that shit so overview oh that's everything epochs 20 epochs since the genesis the, the genesis of the Daleks the layers accounts across the entire smash smashes what does this do this tells you how many smashes there are is there huh far out someone's got 73 terabytes well a few people have got 73 terabytes it's probably more than that I don't know there's two two million smashes out there so that's my account and if I click on this one here, this is my, this is everything that I've done. So you can check, you can check um, your history on the Explorer. That's what I'm trying to say. And you can see what he's done. It's like the, because the blockchain, it's it's open. Anyone can see anyone's transactions. So I've had 19 rewards, eh? So who's the biggest smasher in the world? How do I search for that? Gary, how do I search for the biggest smasher in the world? Okay, so that's that's the space mesh. Space mesh. Bunny rabbit. Okay, so that's how much space mesh you can get for one terabyte over all those epochs. Now it's not much, but if you had you can see if you had more terabytes you'd have more space mesh. Now I was going to do a Unix one, a Unix box, I've got a few old PCs that I'm just going to load some old crappy Unix operating system on and do the Unix. There's a guy on YouTube, um, he's got really good tutorials, he's probably like one of the best guys out there who knows what he's doing. Um, and he does Unix and he's really good, he does all, I don't know how he does it, VM, he must set up a shitload of VM machines or something because um, the way he does it, it's a bit complicated, but I could probably figure it out. But the problem with this, I found that it keeps updating. The whole operator, the, the actual wallet keeps updating. Version 1.4, blah, blah, blah. And updating in Unix is a little pain in the ass. So yeah, so stay tuned. I'll probably do a Unix one. You like my new hat? Space Mesh. <laughs> so yeah, so stick around. I'll I'll probably do a, a Unix version next, and I mean, getting one space mesh for one terabyte now. But if it, the price is good, it's three bucks. Uh, yeah, it's it's still worth it um, if you can get enough terabytes going. Uh, if if that's the right price, and if you can sell it, whether those exchanges actually sell it or not, Jerry. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'll do the Unix one next. You know, you know it's like a friend of mine has a saying that the most ironic explanation is the most likely. And the most ironic outcome for currency would be that the thing that was made at, uh, as, a, as a joke to make fun of cryptocurrencies, the uh, most ironic outcome would become that it becomes the global currency. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>